a little bit of an alpine start today. It's supposed to be another warm one. And uh, after yesterday, getting through the locks, which was such an amazing experience, it was just so freaking hot all day. Like, by the time I got here to my friend uh, Debbie and Steve's place, they, uh, you know, the first thing I did was just take a cold shower for like 10 minutes and just cool down because it was so warm. So, trying to get ahead of it a little bit today. I'm planning to do a big day and we'll see if I make it. Um, get most of the way down the St. Mary's River. I've hit my soft goal of to St. Marie and I'm going to set my next soft goal, Mackinac City. So I think that's four or five days away from here. But that's ba it's back into my old stomping grounds again. Just getting basically into the area that I did my uh, shakedown trip a couple months back. So I don't know anybody for at least 100 miles now. <laughs> so <laughs> I should actually be back to camping. <laughs> nice, cool, gray morning. I feel like I'm being hunted by a very large, slow, but relentless predator. <laughs> predator coming up behind. So this is an area called the Nebish Cut, and it's just a long, thin canal that cuts almost straight south, and it's the downstream route for freighters. My rule is that if you can see a freighter coming downstream towards you, you wait for them to go by. Because <laughs> then you know you have about an hour at least until the next one comes. So I'm just going to find a spot on shore at the entrance and then wait for them to go by. Here's the ferry dock. That's why you, you, know, you don't try to outrun a player. You just don't try it. All right, just leaving the Nebish cut behind. The freighter's already long going. Can't even see it anymore. <laughs> There's a big left-hand turn up here and they just gone. So it's, uh, I think there's a juvenile gull in the water, and the parents are not happy about it. <laughs> I'm leaving, don't worry. Leave the little baby behind. I think that's where I'm going, right there. Right out in the middle, Lime Island. <laughs> cool. It's been a long day already. <laughs> I'm glad the wind has picked up. It was around noon a couple hours ago. The sun burned the clouds off, so it just got hot for a while. It's just miserable out here. Now the wind's picked up enough, I can actually sail a little bit, keeping me a little, little cooler. Yeah, it was pretty warm for a while. got laundry tied up on the bow. <laughs> and here's the wake.
It's actually a lot nicer than most uh, fishing boats. <laughs> The wind's dying on me, but there's still a decent current here. And just look at this. It's carrying me right along to my destination. I bet I can shoot this. I can pull my camera down. There we go. Through. Uh, Lime Island. I've been here in a while. Alright, first things first, go get myself a sight. Last time I came here, it was dark when I arrived. It was a very long day on the water. So these are all common terns over here, the turn colony. There's not very many of them in, in Michigan. This is one of them, it's on the old dock. I forgot all the racket these guys made. All right, I'm not leaving the island. I'm just coming down here. There's a bunch of tent platforms. So I am going to find the one with the best water access. So I don't have to uh, carry my stuff a long way. Maybe some food? Welcome to Lime Island. Well, it's nice to be back out here. I'm the only person in this whole line of tent platforms. There's like six of them. I'm the only person here. I don't know if there's anybody in the cabins or out on the, the far sites on the far sides of the island, but a couple boats moored up and uh, a lot of turns over in the turn colony making all sorts of noise, just like I remember. But I got here a lot earlier than I thought I would. It's only like four o'clock right now. So I've got time to actually relax for once, and I'm going to make a nice, big, hearty dinner. Because I have a tent platform to explode on, and it's kind of early, it's like 5 o'clock, so uh, I'm going to make a dinner that takes a little longer than usual. So. Let's do some miso, just for something soupy. Uh, and then I'm going to make some bannock with some pepper jack cheese and some bacon. You can buy this pre-cooked bacon in these packs. It travels really well, it lasts forever, um, and it's bacon, so it's delicious. I might use this whole bag tonight. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm going to do a double batch. Always stir with a Greenland paddle. If you don't have a little one, a full-size one will suffice. Do -do -do, making some panic. Yum. I'm so hungry right now. Today's like one of the first days where I've sat down and gone like, I'm gonna eat everything I have. Yeah, this doesn't take much because this pan is pretty small and this stove is so hot. And this first round. Oh, look at that! Beautiful! If only my microphone could pick up on smell. Round one is already partially eaten. It's really good. <laughs> Let's see if I can... This one is going to be ready to flip in just a minute. Let's see if I can do two for two here. Okay. Ready? Yeah! That's a good one too. So to recap, we've got some miso. And this is my bannock with bacon and pepper jack cheese. Actually, it's the second one I've had because I ate the first one very, very quickly. And then here's all my other stuff exploded across the deck. <laughs> yeah, it's been about 
two weeks since I was in Marquette, so I'm uh, I'm starting to approach the point where I'm running out of a few things, uh, but I still have tons of food, so I'm only like a week away from the end of my trip, so I don't want to load up a bunch of stuff when I'm just going to go home and it'll sit on my shelf, so that's always the trick is to finish with no food. Like You want to eat your last granola bar on the paddle in <laughs> to, to wherever you're getting picked up. You know, it's like backpacking. Yeah, you want to finish with an empty backpack. So. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to eat. And then probably eat some more. And then eat a little more after that. And so on and so forth. Woo! Hot, 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 hot. Mmm. This one's better than the first round. Definitely better than the first round. Oh, that's so good. Maybe I do want to eat this with my spoon. Mm. Have you tried cooking anything extravagant in the woods? If you have, let me know with a recipe down below in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. I'm always trying to cook new things out in the woods because everything tastes so much better when it's cooked on a camp stove. I don't know why, it just does. Right, taking a quick break from tidying up my tent site. I'm gonna walk and try to get some take a look at the turn colony here. Yeah so Lime Island used to be a uh, depot for coal back when all the freighters were steamships and then they got converted to run on fuel oil so there's a couple big tanks on the hill and then they uh, switched over to diesel and they could make it all the way up the river without refueling. So now this island is just a state recreation area and it's got some really nice trails, some tent sites and some cabins, accessible only by water, which is how I like it. Because Lime Island was a coal depot for the freighters for so long, there's coal everywhere. It's so thick in some places that they say on the whole island you're not allowed to have ground fires, um, only in designated rings because there's the very real possibility that you could light the ground on fire because there's just so much leftover coal. You know, it's been left. Uh, like on this whole island, there's these random things you'll find. Like, I mean, there's the things in the the big grassy area, the uh, windlass and the, the bucket and everything, but you'll find like bits of cable just out in the forest or like a section of a rail, like for a railroad or a mine car, just, you know, under a cedar tree. So this whole island was basically stripped of, stripped of trees and all the infrastructure for the ships was put in place and then once it was left, now the trees have taken back over and the birds have come back. But there's still the coal around. It's still here. Can't outrun a freighter. They are big and fast and they have the right of way no matter what. <laughs> Give me a few minutes with a hot pan, I'll make something of it and it'll be delicious. <laughs> it's like being in an Alfred Hitchcock film or something.